channel. I hope everybody is having an awesome day today. So today, me and my husband, we're going to make our homemade calzones. This is what's going to be for dinner today. Mm -hmm. um, so starting off, we'll show you everything that we have, what we use to make ours. So first, we start off with the pizza crust. That's the Pillsbury Thin Crust. Thin Crust. Then we also use this here. Hey, you want to call that? No, we can keep going. We use pepperonis, but you can use whatever you want. We use cheese and more cheese. <laughs> Onions, green peppers. What is that? So this is the oil that we'll use to oil. glaze over our calzone once we get it stuffed. Turkey sausage, sausage bacon, pepperonis. That you already showed. And jalapenos. Yes. For those who like it spicy. All right, so we just got our regular pans that we uh, did them with aluminum foil and we sprayed some of the cooking spray on it. And mm -hmm. we gonna go ahead and dig in and make it with y'all. I'm gonna try to make this quick. I was getting ready to say now, if I got mine open. Nope, so this is um... Y'all, this is a fun, easy, real easy and dinner we... meal idea. Can you see? Need to point it down? Can you see now? Okay. And we just do what, half? Yeah, you wanna do half. I probably got too much sauce on mine, but I'm a sauce person. I love sauce, I don't like nothing dry. But yeah, you do it half because you're going to end up folding it over and tucking your ends. So, okay. Um, you go, babe. I'm, I'm still. I don't want to reach over your stuff, but I think I'm going to start with a white. Yeah. A little bit of cheese. And when I say little, I mean little. I'm really not a cheese, cheese, cheese person. So, want mozzarella? I'll do a little bit of mozzarella after. I'm a big cheese person. It's like um, the Frito dude said, it ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not, I like baked macaroni and cheese, but just to be just doing cheese, just to do it, you know. Okay. Y'all, they got turkey um, sausage, they got turkey pepperonis. So for those that don't do like beef and pork, they got a lot of turkey products to cover us. So a piece of bacon. Except for the bacon though. Well, yeah, they do have turkey bacon. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do have turkey bacon out. We just chop this up real tiny. That way you spread it, get what you need. Yes, and we make this with our hands. No point in being all proper. Yep. Just get in there. It's fast and easy, and Lord have mercy, is it good? Because you can cut half of this and eat half tonight and eat the other half tomorrow, take it to lunch, do whatever you got to do. But it's good. Good, good, and good. You're just going to go in and just grab the sausage. Okay. We can do this because we're making our own, so. Yeah, this is our own personal calzones. Mm-hmm. I love onions. You got these, babe, because I'm, I'm probably going to use all these bad boys here. Well, I'm definitely going to load up the onions. Y'all can put whatever y'all want to put in your calzone. Yep. Y'all talk to us in the comment section. What type of stuff do y'all like, you know, and stuffed pizza, calzones, or what do you eat on your pizza? I love pepperoni pizza with onions, peppers, jalapenos, and Roma tomatoes. Ooh, that's my fave. I love meat lovers pizza um, with or cheeseburger pizza. Let me get some paper towels. Speaking of that, who is your favorite pizza place? Well, mine used to be Papa John's till one day we did an order from Papa John's back where we are from in North Carolina. And the pizza had a long piece of hair in it. And it just turned my stomach from that point on to where I just didn't want to um, order pizza anymore. But now where we live at now in Florida, 
There's a place called Five Star Pizza. I'm adding a lot of jalapenos. I love spice. Called Five Star Pizza. Oh my gosh. They got the best New York style pizza ever. Yeah. Like I've never had any pizza like that before. Ugh, it's just so good. It's saucy. It's got the right amount of cheese, not too much cheese. And it yep. comes piping hot every single time. And like I said, if you can't tell, I like meat lovers, so I keep piling it on up. You can pile this up because you're going to be you know, holding it over and stuff. So. Can you pass me some mozzarella? Sure, love. I think Little Caesars is the best pizza place. Little Caesars? Mm -hmm. Little Caesars. No, my favorite, favorite, favorite. It used to be Papa John's too. I didn't even eat pizza. I didn't like pizza right here before me and my wife got married. And then she turned me on to Papa Jonathan's, and I love Papa John's. And um, but we, when we was in North Carolina, we tried this one place called um, what's the name of it, babe? What? Uh, what's the name of that pizza place? Where were we at? In North Carolina when we first tried it, it was Donuts. No, Yellow. Uh, what's the name of it? Okay. How, it. Hungry Howie's. Hungry Howie's. Hungry Howie's. That's my favorite pizza place. Not mine. They got that crust. Oh my God. And then I just put a little bit more sauce on the top there so it's not all dry. Too saucy, it'll bust open, right babe? Yes. Hence why I have all this aluminum foil wrapped around um, the pan. I just like to make mines big. All right, we just fold it over. Just fold it over. Nothing pretty, nothing fancy. Yep. Pinch and tuck, pinch and tuck. Okay. <laughs> pinch and tuck, pinch and tuck. So as you can see here, uh, that's just gonna be heavy. Yes, his was bigger than mine. My wife usually does this for me or helps me out with it, but we're trying to shoot a video here, so. <laughs> yep, pinch and tuck. Pinch and tuck. Pinch and tuck. <laughs> yep, just like that. I'll it's probably cut these edges off when I'm done because it's gonna be a big clunk of bread right there, but. If you work in the pizza industry, you should know how to do this very well because I don't know how to knead no dough and none of that stuff, but there we go. This is just some regular uh, olive oil, just rubbing it over so it can get ready to go in the oven. And just a FYI, if you like a lot of crust, like thick crust, then get the original. But if you're not like a crust or a doughy person, then get the thin crust because all this edge that's tucked and rolled, oh, it's gonna swell up. <laughs> Just yeah. to let you know. So I have the oven going at 400 degrees. So we're gonna put them in the oven for maybe about like eight minutes or so, no more than 10 minutes because um, it will be ready. And then we'll come back and show y'all what we're working with. And speaking of Hungry Howie's, I just thought about a good idea. If you want to season your crust, that would be a good idea. Put season like. Anyways, that's just my thought. I'm done. We be back, y'all. All right, y'all. So while we're waiting, you know what time it is. Garden update. We about to cut the grass, y'all. Don't worry about that. So here we go. We got the squash, the zucchini. And then look, my sweet peppers are finally starting to come up. Finally. So I'm How long has it been, babe? Almost two weeks. Two weeks since we planted. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to water them and I'll see y'all on the inside. Okay, y'all. So we're back. This is mine. It's done. Um, let me see here. If I can kind of cut it for you, it's fresh out the oven. I just put my husband's in. Ooh. 
I don't know if y'all could just see that steam that came is coming out of there. And it's real saucy. If y'all could see that sauce. Hold on. Let me hold on with this. It's super saucy. Let me see. Let me get a spatula or something. Kind of help me out a little bit. There we go. This way y'all can see the inside. Y'all see it? Here's some of my stuff. There. But there it is, guys. That's our homemade calzones. Looks it's nice good. and popping hot. Popping hot. Piping hot. <laughs> So we're getting ready to eat and enjoy our dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, comment, talk to us, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you.